Hello, welcome to Dojo. Dojo is a sample-based synthesizer developed for native instruments contact. It is inspired to the principles of Japanese martial arts, which are translated and applied to creative sound design. Dojo features two main instruments, the Kumite synth and the Kata synth. The Kumite synth has been conceived to create detailed and complex phrases, aggressive pulses and stutters, dreamy arpeggios, subtle rhythms, interesting q and structures and cinematic pulses out of unconventional synth timbers and sound design elements in a creative and straightforward way. The Kumite synth is based on three sound sources for a total of 210 sounds. Synth 1 and Synth 2 are monophonic and feature synthetic layers created with a variety of sound design techniques, from classic subtractive synthesis of analog synths to spectral resynthesis and manipulation of organic sources, acoustic instruments, voices, electric hums from broken circuits, machinery tones, industrial facility drones and science labs equipment. The sample layer is polyphonic and features textures, strings, rhythms, impacts and horns. You can either keep the synth and sample layers overlapped or mapped to two different parts of the keyboard by using the keyboard button. You can browse the sounds respectively in Synth 1-2 and samples either directly from the main menus or by using the navigation arrows. Alternatively, you can browse the sounds by category using the arrows underneath the main menus. Synth 1-2 categories are analog, dark, distorted, FM, granular, organic and vocal. Additionally, there's a subsign layer which can be added to the previous three, which turns particularly useful to add weight and thickness when designing bass lines and punchy phrases. Also, the Kumite features a separate instrument where you can drag and drop your own samples and process them with the same functionalities of the main instrument. Let's see the architecture of the Kumite synth starting from the main screen. Here we find four macros. Synth 1 2 morph, synth cutoff, sample volume and sample degrade. All the macros can either be MIDI mapped to your hardware controller, right click, internally automated by using the tables in the Animate Macro screen or automated in your host DAW. The Synth Morph slider allows to seamlessly crossfade between the two respective source sounds in Synth 1 and 2. It has been scripted to recreate a timber shift with the choice of arbitrarily select the timbers between which you want the sound to change. The two morphable synth layers are sent through a custom scripted modulation line, which represents the most versatile and powerful feature in Kumite. Let's see how it works. In the synth tab, you can find four subscreens. Let's start from the drawable wavetable LFO. SAID LFO is assigned by default to a filter, low pass, high pass or band pass, and it's based on a set of five different shapes, which you can either freely draw for each wavetable or assign with pre-designed shapes by using the buttons on the left. By using the wavetable morph slider, you can morph between the LFO shapes in the five assignable wavetables. When the LFO is set to give a time sync division, Changing its shape allows you to create more rhythmic variety and detail. You can use the wavetable morph slider by hand, or you can modulate it by activating the wavetable morph animate tab. You can also phase shift the yellow for waves or add some pre-generated noise to make the result sound grittier and more distorted. Let's move to the multi-rate tab. Here you can program the LFO to change its rate and keep the tempo changes locked to the master tempo of your DAW. For example, you might run the LFO to 6th in the first half bar of the modulation line and to 8th triplets in the second one. Or you might divide the modulation line in 8 parts and assign a different LFO rate to each one of it. By using the LFO Depth Animate tab, you can modulate the LFO amplitude over the length of the whole modulation line. 
Also, in the main panel, you can automate the base cutoff frequency around which the LFO oscillates to add further detail and complexity to the synth line. By combining the multi-rate functionality, the LFO shape morph and the synth 1-2 morph, you can easily obtain interesting and ready-to-use intricate phrases or subtler atmospheres and arpeggios. In the Volume Contour tab, you can shape the volume of the sound over the length of the modulation line. You can either draw it by hand, or you can use the fade in, fade out, and sustain knobs in a similar fashion of a classic attack, decay, sustain envelope. By using the buttons below, you can assign different curves to the fade in and fade out knobs. Also, you can further shape the modulation by using the volume stutter and stutter rate knobs. In the Pitch Swell subscreen, you can modulate the pitch of your synth line by both using the continuous pitch tab over a given semitones range and the semitone steps tab, which is particularly useful to program melodic phrases. With the exception of the pitch and LFO shape, all the resulting modulation line is displayed in the modulation display, which visually translates the LFO rate, multi-rate and depth and the volume contour. Another important feature of the synth modulation is the modulation legato. When turned off, the modulation line is re-triggered from the beginning every time a new note is played. When activated, you can play a melody in a legato fashion and keep the modulation going through the melodic line. The submodulation button allows you to assign the modulation line to the additional subsign layer as well. Last but not least, you can set the length of your modulation line to one bar or two bar. When set to two bar, a single step of a given table is read at half of the speed, resulting in a completely different overall modulation. Let's turn on the sample layer and move to the sample screen. Here, the waveform of the selected sample is displayed. Plus, you have a number of controls. A HDSR volume envelope, filter cutoff and resonance, LFO rate, a mountain shape, and finally, sample bits degrade and sample rate degrade, which you can use to distort the sample. As previously showed, the bits degrade can be controlled from the corresponding macro in the main panel, and as the other macros can either be automated in your host DAW or internally automated using the corresponding tab in the Animate Macros screen. You can also assign the output channel of the sample layer to its default value, 1, 2, or to other channels to process it independently in a separate channel in your DAW. Finally, let's see the FX screen. Here we find compressor, delay and reverb, which can be independently turned on or off. The compressor helps to easily gel together the modulated layers and achieve a thicker sound, especially useful for bass lines and cue lines. The delay features the replica delay in contact, allowing you to choose among different algorithms, modern, analog, tape, vintage, and diffusion. The reverb consists of a convolution module where you can choose from several pre-designed impulse responses to further shape your sound. Once you program a modulation movement that you like, you can experiment by selecting different sound sources from the main menus and fine-tune the modulating parameters in order to obtain multiple variations of the same movement or completely different ones or you can browse the vast selection of available presets and try them with different source sounds or by changing the modulation settings. If you want to have a broader idea of how Dojo sounds like, please have a look at the Dojo sound demo video on our YouTube channel or listen to the audio demos at the Dojo product page on our website. Thanks for watching.